So IGTV still seems to be the new kid on the block that people are trying to figure out how best to use. I've got mixed feelings and I haven't been converted just yet, but I am making my videos with IGTV in mind and sharing them there at the same time. But doesn't that mean I have to use my phone in portrait mode? Come on, as if I'm gonna do that. No, there are several ways to edit a video that you shoot with your camera and you can upload it in HD quality without touching your phone. In this video, I wanna demonstrate how to do that in iMovie, and then in my other video, I'll use Final Cut Pro. And I'm really spoiling you today because I've made a downloadable guide that takes you through everything I'm doing in iMovie step by step. Okay, so I'm Adrian Salisbury, founder of the Pro Video Academy, where I help people create professional looking videos with ease. And one of my students asked me about making videos for IGTV, so here's my tutorial. If you're already creating video content for YouTube, then at least you should be dipping your toe in the IGTV water to see what happens. Now, we obviously have a problem in that our YouTube videos are 16 by nine and IGTV is nine by 16. One's landscape, the other's portrait. So what can we do? Well, <laughs> please don't just upload that video on its side like I've seen people doing. And we don't want to upload it as landscape view with a whole lot of space top and bottom because that just looks awful and we're trying to be professional, right? This is the first impression a lot of your new customers will get of you. So here's what we do. I've just made a video, so let's use that as our example. First, I shot this wider than I usually do, knowing that I'm gonna to need to crop it in, and I shot it in 4K. If I shot 1080, then I'd have a clip that's 1920 by 1080, which is perfect for YouTube in landscape, but if I'm gonna crop off the sides and just end up with this bit, then my longest length now is 1080, and we have gotta get a better resolution than that. So in 4K, we start with, 3840 by 2160. So even when we crop this down, we've still got a length of 2160, which is more than we need for 1080. All right, plus although I shot this wider than I usually would, I can crop it in tighter for my YouTube videos if I want to and not lose any quality. <laughs> you don't need to understand all that. Just trust me that if you've got a 4K setting on your camera, then use it. Other things to note, you wanna stay in the same place so you're not going off screen. And if you're demonstrating something, make sure you keep it here in front of your body. Now, in a video like this where I'm gonna be showing my screen, it gets tricky and you might find that it really doesn't work on this. As you're gonna see, I'm gonna be zooming in on those narrow sections of my screen where possible. Well, that's about it for the filming. Right, let's get on to the editing. We're using iMovie and I'm assuming you know your way around it, although I have clearly laid out the steps in the downloadable guide. The first thing I do is make a new movie project and edit the video without any cropping, add my music, my B-roll footage, all of that stuff. Now, if you're making a version for YouTube, as I cover in another video, then before you start adding the images, talking about subscribing and all of that stuff, duplicate this project. We're not looking at the YouTube video in this tutorial, so let's get on with our new one. Now, you aren't able to edit the proportions in iMovie, sadly, but we're going to finish it and share it out as a file. If you have a transparent logo that you usually drop over the top, hang on to that for now and we'll add it later. That's us done with iMovie. Now, this is where the trick comes in. We open Keynote or PowerPoint, if you have that, and we create a new blank document. Under the Documents tab, change the slide size to Custom and type in 1080 by 920. Your new document appears. Now, find your video file when it's finished saving out and simply drag it on top of the custom document and drag those edges until it covers this new document. Realign it if necessary. And if you've got a logo, then go ahead and find it and drop it on the top and do the same thing. Just scale it and move it to exactly where you want it then you simply export a movie and you're done. Voila! Now, open Instagram on your browser, click the IGTV icon, and it will give you a button to upload a video, and away you go. You also get a title and description that will take links, so use that as you would your YouTube description. In fact, I copy and paste mine over. Ideally, you can add a poster image, so remember everything I just went through is available in this free download guide, so I recommend you grab that in the links below. 
You've just taken your YouTube video and simply created a very professional looking IGTV video. How cool is that? If you wanna see how this is done using Final Cut Pro, you can head over to that video from the link in the description. And if you wanna learn more about making a video once and sharing it across multiple social media platforms, I've got another video coming next week. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to download that printed guide and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so I can give you notifications of more videos coming out like this. If you wanna give me ideas for new videos, please drop me a comment below. Thank you.